Today, you are going to learn how to add a hole in an object. So finished product for this example will look like this. So first thing that you need to do is click create a new design. On the work plane, I want you to drag a box and a striped cylinder. You can also use the regular cylinder, but you just have to switch it from uh, solid to hole. Next, you are going to change the dimension of the box, okay? There are several ways how you can change the dimension. First, uh, first way of doing it is by using the slider here. You can change the length, width, and height of the object. So it's just your preference, which is easier for you. Another way is by just clicking and dragging the uh, uh, white square and the black square. If you click the black square, it will only show one dimension. White square will show two dimensions. Okay, so I'm going to click the white square. For this pr uh, project, I want the... Uh, I want the cube or the box to be 30 by 30. This one, the height will be, okay, if you go facing front view, this is the height, okay, change it to 30. Another way of doing or changing the dimension is for you to use the ruler. You click and drag the ruler and it will show the height, width, and length of the object. Okay, so now I'm gonna change the cylinder if the sometimes some people they don't like using the ruler because it gets very overwhelming there's too many numbers you can just exit it out click x and it will disappear so i'm going to change this uh the cylinder will be height is going to be 30. the length of the object will be or the cylinder is 13 width will be 13. So that's step number one, you change the dimension. Step number two is drag the cylinder inside the cube. So to do the one, you need to be careful when dragging it. Do not drag it from these, one of the squares because it will change the dimension. So drag it from the body. Now it's inside it. And you can uh, go to all the uh, you know, all the sides, make sure it's uh, it's not too high or not too low. So after you've done that one, step number three, switch to top view. Select everything. In selecting, you can just click highlight everything. everything. You can press Control A to select everything or press and hold Shift and click the object one by one. So once everything is selected, the align button will activate. So it's going to ask you, where do you want to align? Okay. okay I'm going to click it again. It disappeared. Okay. Let me do the step again. So again, control A. Uh, or you can just select everything. Okay. Highlight everything and then select align. And it will ask you, where do you want to align it? So I want it aligned over here because you want it to be centered and this one. So this circle now is centered inside the box. That's the step number three. So the last step is for you to make this look like a hole. Right now, it just looks like a striped cylinder inside the box. To do the one, you make sure that everything is selected again. So I'm going to use Control A or just highlight everything. And this time, you're going to use the group command. So if you click group command, it will change that striped cylinder into a hole. So you finish the product, you can uh, check and see if it's correct. Once you see that everything is correct, I want you to submit it to me. To submit it to your teacher, you're going to click send to and scroll all the way down here. Select invite people. You generate new link, copy that link, and once the link is copied and it's learning, the assignment is add holes inside an object. You're going to click the one, answer the assignment, and paste. So this was uh, the example that I used before. So control V to paste it and submit it to me. And that's how you add a hole to the object. Okay, well, thank you. So